welcome to chennai city garden so today in this video we are going to see about a simple and a very very easy to make liquid fertilizer that can be made in our home you can see here see the color deep brownish color it has lots of nutrients especially the nitrogen and if you use this fertilizer to your plants the plants will be more greener and your garden looks really great so in that case how i made this liquid fertilizer that is what we are going to see today and for this i used the sweet potato leaves that is the important thing because there are lots of liquid fertilizer that can be made from a home and especially using the leaves you can use the neem leaves and the tree leaves whatever tree you have it in your terrace or your home or at your home you can use those tree leaves for example the goa plant leaves any kind of tree leaves can be used and i'm using the sweet potato leaves because we get more leaves from a i mean from a single bag of sweet potatoes you can get large number of leaves and you can use those leaves for this purpose i mean for liquid fertilizer so what i do is generally i used to grow these uh, sweet potato in 2 to 3 bags and while harvesting the sweet potatoes i used to cut all those leaves and stem and dry it for few days after that i make it i mean i make a simple liquid fertilizer from that dried leaves that is what i used to do you can see here these are i mean this is the flower actually this sweet potato is from a flower family from the morning glory family this is the morning glory flower that i am showing it on the screen you can see both the flowers look similar so it is not from a potato family it is from the flower family so you can see here this is after 4 months and this was the time when i had harvested the potatoes i mean the sweet potatoes so while harvesting we have to cut all those stems and leaves so we are going to use those stems and leaves for preparing the liquid fertilizer that is the first step just harvest all those i mean all those leaves and stems you can see how greener it is we are not going to use it as it is we are going to dry those leaves and stems and after a while i mean after 10 to 15 days we can use it for using the i mean preparing the liquid fertilizer after harvesting all those leaves i put it in a small drum or any kind of container you can see here this is the container in which i had soaked those dried leaves you can see how brown it is how brownish all the extract i mean all the nutrients from those dried leaves has been extracted what i had done is just put the dried i mean dry leaves into dry leaves and stems into this container and soaked it in water and i used the rain water to soak these leaves you can see here it has soaked really well so after drying it for 15 days i soaked this i mean dried leaves for another 10 days so totally it takes 25 days total number of days is 25 days for preparing this liquid fertilizer and finally we are going to filter this liquid fertilizer you can see how brown it is it is filled with nutrients especially the nitrogen so after filtering the liquid fertilizer you can mix it with water i mean i mix it in a ratio of 50 50 to 50 so 50% of this liquid fertilizer with 50% of water and you can spray it on your plants you can give it as a foliar spray or you can pour it to the roots so in both the ways you can use this fertilizer so i got nearly 5 to 10 liters of liquid fertilizer from a small amount of the sweet potato leaves you can see here the color now i'm going to mix it with water and give it to the plants 
and it has small amount of phosphorus and potassium but it has large amount of nitrogen in it it is more or less similar to a seaweed and you can see the remaining leaves most of the nutrients has been extracted but still if you want to extract the remaining of the nutrients you can still soak those leaves in water and use it after 10 days now you can see here I am going to give it to the plants I am starting from tomato plants you can pour it to the roots as well as give it as a foliar spray and now I am giving it back to the sweet potatoes itself and I have other tree plants generally I used to give lots of these kind of I mean liquid fertilizer to the tree plants from Goa to pomegranate to custard apple all those for all those tree plants I used to give these kind of liquid fertilizer it is a zero cost liquid fertilizer so in that case we are not spending much of money here so it is very very easy to make and very nutritious so try it in your home and I hope this liquid fertilizer is useful for you I will try to post more of these kind of videos which can be easily made in your home so thank you for watching this video if you like it please give it a like and do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you